how to make a coupon code website hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can make your very own coupon code website so if we come over here this is basically honey's website right we'll just go ahead and see how it looks like so as you can see this is how it looks so if i come over here and i search for amazon right here so as you can see it's loading and this is how it looks like right so we have a bunch of different ones over here and it's really really simple like as you can see it's pretty simple it just has a bunch of different things over here and if i come over here and click on apple and this is how it basically looks like so we have this pretty really simple looking website over here we have our sale icon over here we have our tags over here and then we have the uh, get deal icon over there it's really simple it's really easy so this is what we're trying to create here so let's go back to our dashboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install a bunch of different plugins because these plugins are very very useful so that we don't have to do that so we're going to go into the plugin section and click on add new and we're going to add uh, some advanced custom fields as you can see this is the plugin right here acf advanced custom fields we're going to go ahead and do that i'm going to click on install and activate boom it's activated now we're going to go back and now what we're going to do is we're going to install custom post type so we have this one right here custom post type we're going to go ahead and click on install and activate it as well and boom that's good now the next thing we need is elementor as you can see this is right here elementor we need this one and we also need essential add-ons for elementor so we're going to go ahead and install that one as well i'm going to click on install wait a couple of seconds and once it's installed we're just simply going to click on activate and boom we're good to go so now that we have done this we now we have a bunch of different plugins installed now let's go ahead and we're going to click on plugins and we're going to go ahead and click on activate and click on apply i think they're all activated but just to be safe i'm just doing this okay so yes there are activated we are good to go now over here on the left side as you can see we don't have a field type for coupons we have all these different ones but we don't have a field type for coupons for that we have installed this one over here the cpt ui so we're gonna go over here and click on add slash edit post type we're gonna go ahead and add in the name over here into the post type slug we're gonna call it coupons and this is going to be plural label so we're going to add plural over here then we're going to add a singular over here singular label coupon coupons and coupons and once that's done we're good to go and then what we want is we want to scroll down we're at the very bottom as you can see don't worry about all of this you can leave it blank it all depends on you uh, you don't have to it's just a bunch of different options and then when we have reached the bottom what we'll do is we're going to choose a dash icon that is going to be displayed over here so we're going to click on dash icon and since we are looking for a coupon we search for coupons there is no icon so we'll just go with a tag icon as well so i think this would look pretty good so we're gonna do that and there we go and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up at the top and we're just simply gonna click on add post type and boom there you go over here on the left side as you can see we have coupons we have all coupons we have add new coupons so we're going to click on add new coupons as i said before to add new coupons and over here as you can see we have nothing we just have the title and then we have nothing the type we have no fields whatsoever so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to add a bunch of different fields and for that we have downloaded this plugin called custom fields what we're going to do is we're going to add new custom fields so we're going to click on add new and over here we have a bunch of different options we're going to add in the title over here we're going to call it coupons and over here as you can see we have no fields right here so what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of fields so what do we have over here we have the sale we have the deal itself we have the time it's going to be like the title over here so what we're going to do is we're going to add in the title so we're going to add like brand name over here and then we have the field name over here is going to be the brand name over here then we have the text type yes it's going to be the text type this one so we have as you can see we have a bunch of different choices text text area number range so we're going to keep it at text and is this required yes once that's done we're good to go then we're going to go ahead and then we can add another field over here once that's done we can say that it is an image over here so we'll just say image 
right field name image and then the field type will be image and then is it required yes we can just you know keep the image size medium we don't have to change it and we can even change it later on when we're actually adding this and then we can add a bunch of different other fields so i'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of other fields as well related to coupon so we have the name we have the uh image and next what we're going to do is we're going to add in the coupon code itself and the valid date as well and then once that's done we can move on so i'm going to go ahead and add that and i will catch you guys in a little bit okay so next as you can see i've added uh, two more and we are done with the fields now what we're going to do is we're going to add a rule so what is this and how is it going to you know be applied to so we have the post type is equal to what we're going to do over here is we're going to choose coupon so these fields are only you know uh, applicable to the coupons over here so once we've done that we are good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back at the top and just simply click on publish and boom there you go so we have these fields over here that we have the brand name the image the code the date valid and star ratings and stuff like that we are now good to go now if we come over here into coupon codes over here we click on add new coupon basically takes us over here we have a bunch of different options uh so this is still the gutenberg editor so we don't need this editor so we're going to leave this and we are going to add another plugin called the classic editor so we're just going to click on plugins and click on add new over here as you can see we already have it in front of us the classic editor but if it does not show up for you guys just simply search for it and uh, it'll pop up as you can see over here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on install all right it's installed and we're going to click on activate boom there you go that's done now if we come over here into coupons click on add new so as you can see we have a bunch of different fields now we have the description we have the brand name the image the code itself the valid date and the star rating as well so we are good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in the title we're going to call it amazon right and not amazon amazon over here then we're going to add in the description uh for the product yeah so we're going to add that so we're going to add like special offer for the new gaming chairs so we're going to do that and then we're going to add in the brand name over here so as i said before it's amazon and then we want the code itself so we will say the amz 009 we can add in the image as well for the uh or amazon so let me just go ahead and search for it over here amazon see if i can find a good image yeah i think this would look nice it's reloaded it's gone now okay so now that i've done that let me just go ahead and upload the image uh it should be here there we go we're just gonna go ahead and upload it once it's uploaded boom there we go Wait a couple of seconds the server cannot process this image i don't understand why let me just upload it again it should work i don't know why it's not uploading okay it's not uploading so we'll just use this uh temporary image over here we'll just completely click on select there we go this is like the temporary image and then we want the date valid we'll just click on by the end of april i guess yeah then we'll give it a star rating out of four yeah there we go and once that's done we just simply click on publish and now as you can see we've done that we'll just go ahead and click on coupons as you can see we'll click on all coupons and boom as you can see we already have a coupon ready so now what we can do next is we can add a bunch of different coupons over here then we can add them over to our site but for now i'm just simply going to leave it at that now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into templates and we're going to click on add new and we're going to create a new page so this is basically a part of the section page and we're going to add like coupons slash promo code we're going to click on create template wait a couple of seconds for the uh elementor editor to load up and we are good to go so okay so since this is a blank canvas this is what we needed so now let's go ahead and take a look at honey so we have one two and three sections over here we have a pretty decent and pretty simple ones so what we're going to do is we're going to add like these three sections over here and we'll, we have that and now what we're going to do is we're going to keep it like this and once we've done that we're going to go into advanced and we can add um, the layout should be full width right as you can see that looks nice and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of paddings so maybe to the left like 20 percent and then 20 percent on the left as well so yeah looks nice actually maybe let's go with 40 yeah 40 would look nice 
yeah it looks really nice now we're good we're gonna go back and boom there we go so if we come over here so this is how it looks like we have sale then we have the tags and stuff like that so we also want the logo so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an intersection but we don't we're gonna add like an image over here boom there we go but we don't want this one, this type of image. So what we want is we don't want this image to load manually. We want this image to be loaded dynamically. So we're going to click on dynamic and we're going to click on set in action. Since we've loaded the image, now what we're going to do is we're going to add in another text over here. We're going to add a heading, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a text editor over here, like a description at the bottom. Boom, there we go. And then at the end, we're going to add like a button over here. And yeah, so now let me just go ahead and center align it real quick. So over here, I'm just simply going to click on the image. I'm going to upload my image over here click on insert media. There we go. Then we can edit in the headings over here for the Amazon. We can also try dynamic tags, but as of right now, it's not working. So we'll just leave it at that. Then we have the button as well. And we can add like a margin over here. We can add, I think, somewhere along this line over here. Yeah, it looks nice. We're good to go. So this is how we basically do it. Next thing what we want is we can click on the link over here and add in the link to the coupon code over here. So whenever clicks over here, they can apply the coupon over to that part of the website. So this is how we basically do it. We can edit the heading to the coupon. We can say like Amazon and then we can add like over here the description. We can add a bunch of other things as well. So this is how we basically do it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys found this video helpful and until next time. Goodbye.